Hi, my name is Einaya Iradumba. I'm a brand strategist. And today, we're going to be talking about branding. Now, it is important to establish what branding is and what branding is not, because there's been a lot of misconception about what branding is. So, in asking, what is branding? Well, I like to define branding as the act of differentiating a product, a service, a person, and a business from the others. Each time I'm to teach branding, I always give this analogy. Imagine walking into a room filled with people and they are all of the same skin color, the same height, bearing the same name. How do you differentiate one from the other? Now, this is what branding does for your business. This is what branding does to an individual because you are not the only one doing what you're doing. Branding simply differentiates your business from every other business. It differentiates you as a person from every other person. Guess what? Nature has actually helped us differentiate ourselves. That is why out of the 7.1 billion people living now on earth, no two persons have the same thumb print. It simply means that nature wants you to be different from every other person. And that is what branding does for you and your business. Uh, branding is actually an amplifier. Why do I say so? Because branding will help propagate something that is already existing. And that is why before you start branding, you must have a very good product, service, or actually a strong message. Because at the end of the day, you cannot brand something that is not good. Because if you do so, it creates what is called the hollow effect, or what is rather known as the donut effect. Because branding in this sense will only promote and project that thing that is already existing to the outer world. So the question is this, why do we need to brand? For different reasons, but I'm going to talk about a few. The first thing branding does is what is called product or brand differentiation. You see, just like every other person in this particular world has a different name. Of course, there are instances where people actually have similar names, but in your locale or in your family, everybody has a distinct name from the other person. That is what branding does. It differentiates you from every other person out there who is doing what you are doing currently. And that is why the essentials of branding will involve having a name, a logo, brand colors, tagline, amongst many other things, all uh, in a bid to differentiate one product from the other, one person from the other, one business from the other. And that is why global brands are brands who are serious about their image differentiate themselves by using what is known as the brand colors. Countries actually have brand colors. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes, you shouldn't be surprised. Nigeria as a country has the brand color green and white. And that is why wherever you see the color green, white, green, you already know it is Nigeria. Branding answer this critical question, what is unique about your product? Which is another reason why branding is very, very important. You see, what differentiates a cup of coffee in a particular atmosphere for a 5,000 Naira and simply walking down the streets less than five minutes and having the same cup of coffee for less than 500 naira is simply that one particular brand has actually taken it upon yourself to be able to tell you why they are very crucial why their atmosphere is completely different or why their brand is completely different from every other brand and as such they sell their unique brand proposition you see, when you don't tell people what is different about you and every other person, what is different between your product and every other product, they will grade you all the same. And that is why people will pay premium price for premium brands and pay normal price for normal brand. Saying what is unique about your product brings about what is called product positioning. And this can be done through an effective brand communication. This is done through the use of colors. Yes through the use of colors. Have you wondered what is it that most of the premium and the most expensive items in the world comes in the color black? That is something that branding can do for you. DSTV premium comes in the color black. The black hat and everything that is official and related to a particular office, in most cases comes with the color black. And that is why it is often a culture that every presidential motorcade must come in the color black. Now, this is something that branding can do for you. It helps you position your product from this point to this point, 
where people will begin to perceive your products and services and perceive you as an individual the way you want them to perceive you. Remember, 80% of the time, people will judge you based on what they see before you even open your mouth to say a particular thing. And that is the same thing with branding. When your products are good, you need to put out a perception that people will indeed receive and that becomes your narrative with consistency over time. For this particular video and for more videos, click on the link below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get to watch amazing videos in the area of branding.